Welcome back, this is the Emma Jack, and today we're going to do some Burning Pears. This is going to be a good map, I like this map. Do you something different about me here? I'm doing a bit of a different accent. So I was thinking about this one thing that I do for, uh, for, for a video, okay? I think I'm going to do it in this video. So, the concept is story time, right? Lots of YouTubers do it. Yeah, you tell a story, you're playing a game, it's, you know, about your, your old friend that you used to go to middle school with or something, right? You know, old Johnny and he did all kinds of crazy stuff, right? You tell your story. It's great. Everybody loves it. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do story time, but, but the catch is that nothing I say can be true, okay? So I'm gonna tell you a story in this episode about something that has never happened to me before. I don't know what the story is. I haven't made it up. I'm gonna come up with it on the fly. Not a single thing in it will be true. I wanna reiterate that. And this is gonna be great because later on when I'm super famous, a bunch of people will take the story out of context and uh, pretend it's real and it'll be like this whole thing for my channel. Um, it's gonna be great. Probably never gonna happen, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it anyway. So, uh, I, need, I need a moment to build up uh, a bit of a setting. A little bit of it's gonna be. I, I can do this on the fly. Like when I'm driving with my sister, I can uh, I can come up with stories just on the fly. Like see a random person and tell you whole, his whole life story. Um, but when I'm also playing and having to focus on that, it takes like the the brain power that I need to be able to come up with this on the fly. And it just it says goodbye brain power. Um. Okay. So this the 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 setting is it's you and me. Personally, just the two of us. All right, we're uh, we're at a pet store, okay? And we see this this fellow. He's got uh, this like short blonde hair. He's wearing a uh, just like some jeans and like a, a gray sweater. Um, okay, we're at like a, a store, Walmart or Costco or something. Okay, and I tell you, oh yeah, that's Alex. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the story about Alex, okay? So Alex and I, we went to uh, elementary school, I believe. We went to get up until I think it was it's back when I went to school. Um, school actually like it wasn't separated into different grades, and this is a true. This is true. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go based on that because that's what my childhood was like, okay? Uh, it wasn't separated. It was K through 12, right? Um, so that's just just for some some context of background because I think that for most people these days anyway it's uh, like separated into elementary middle and high school um, anyway so Alex and I we went to um, I believe it was school together we went from fourth grade to fifth grade but his dad got a job over in Alberta he was uh, like doing some oil rig thingy or something like that. I can't remember exactly. He was driving like this this gigantic truck. You know those like really huge trucks that you see as a kid when you're driving around and you go into these like weird shows that are just like the wheels are as big as the, the car you're in. Yeah his dad would drive around those. We talked online like a little bit on like MSN back then. So that's what everybody used and uh, he would show me like these pictures of his dad in these these gigantic trucks just moving them around from points but I forget what they were moving but like I don't know metal just moving other trucks like what what do you even use those things for I have no idea but he would, he would show me these pictures of his dad in these these gigantic trucks and um, it was it was like kind of cool for a little while and then that was like all we talked about <laughs> so we uh, we kind of grew apart because at a certain point I was like it's real cool, dude, but like, got anything else to talk about? Like, any other things to talk about? And you always be like, well, I don't know, man. I mean, Alberta's kind of boring. I mean, living up in, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It was one of those like northern places, Taskwin or something. Um, and he was like, it's kind of just a boring place and it's not really much to do. Like, well, 
that kind of sucks. And back then, you know, internet wasn't like super big. I mean, we had like RuneScape and stuff to play at the time, but also it was kind of like just about growing out of uh, out of popularity at that point to the point where like people would kind of like judge you for continuing to play RuneScape, and then we kind of had to like stop playing it just because it was the not cool thing to do anymore. Which, I mean, looking back on it, it's like, well, we could have just played RuneScape together, you know, Alex and I. And... It's like... You know. Goodness, it's so hard to tell stories while I'm doing this. Even if it was a real story, it's just as hard to tell stories. <laughs> um, so eventually we grew apart, and I hadn't seen him in a while. And uh, so it was really weird to see him. I'm not sure if it's literally him or not there, but... You know. Looks pretty much exactly like he did when uh, when we were kids. I mean, him, but like grown up edition, you know? Like, you take the, the picture of him as a kid and put it in a. One of those, like, what do you look like in 20 years kind of thing? Yeah, so that's what it gives you, right? So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's him. Anyway, we grew apart like forever ago, so I'm not sure how he's doing today. I might want to message him again, though. He was uh, a fun chap. When we were in school together, we did all kinds of, like, dumb stuff. We did, uh,. Go over to his house and we build these like weird fort things. Where is this cloaker? I do not see a cloaker. There she is. There she is. We build these like weird fort things out of like pillows and beds and couches. His parents would always get like super mad at us. So they'd come home and we'd just have the whole like living room rearranged. And uh, so that was always like super fun. Then, um,. We also went to, what was it? I was thinking that we went on a lot of bike rides to like pretty far, but that was a different guy. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty much just that. We had these, we would um, play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh as well back then, I think. So I think that's what we did back then was Yu-Gi-Oh. Gosh, I remember playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. We're, we're, we're done with the fake story, by the way. Um, we're on to Yu-Gi-Oh now. I remember playing Yu-Gi-Oh. That was a fun game. I remember, uh, true story, okay? The fake story's done. I had fun with that, but um, I think it takes too much brain power. <laughs> so I can't do it very well. I wanted to go for like a four, like the whole episode be talking about it, but I just I can't. So anyway, Yu-Gi-Oh. I remember um, this one really annoys me. It makes me so mad at myself and at this dude, okay? This is a real story. True story. It's actually true, okay? This one's real. Alex was not. He wasn't based on anybody. Um, he was he was fake, entirely fake. I made him up. It was, uh, it was just a creative exercise, okay? Anyway, um, so I did play Yu-Gi-Oh a lot as a kid, and uh, eventually we had this like yard sale thing in uh, in our complex, and I wanted to to sell my Yu-Gi-Oh cards because I'm like, oh yeah, like these are worth something, right? And, uh, I was selling him, like, a dollar a card, which, it's a bit much, okay? I had some cards that were probably worth more than a dollar, um, but I'm also mad at my parents for, for letting me, like, sell my things without supervision. Uh, anyway, so to, lots, lots of mad people here in this, uh, in, oh no, in this, uh, in this story, okay? Lots of people who I am mad at. So anyway, I was uh, I was selling my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Most people wouldn't buy them. I think I sold like one or two uh, total. And uh, finally, this one dude comes up. He's just like, I don't know. I'm. Uh, he was this probably like mid thirties, mid forties, like Asian guy, I think. Um, He's like, how much for all your cards? I'm like, uh, they're a dollar each. And he's like, how about two dollars for all of them? And I had like, just bear in mind, I had hundreds of cards. Maybe into like a thousand, you know? He's like, how about, how about two dollars for all of them? And I'm like, two dollars is a lot of money. <laughs> two dollars is a lot of money. And I did it. So I sold all of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards for two dollars. And I'm mad at myself now because I wish I kept them because they were they're they're worth more than two dollars. They're not worth a dollar each. That was that was a stupid price. 
But like to have sold them all for two dollars. And then also like this dude who's just going around like scamming children like that. Like what an absolute just I mean I think that's that's next level scum, you know? That is that is next level scum to just go to yard sales, find children, and then scam them like that, just completely completely rip them off like that. I mean that's just that's incredible. That's an incredible level of just scumminess, really. And then my parents for letting me unsupervised at a yard sale selling my prized belongings. That was also highly irresponsible of them. Um, I was like seven or eight or like nine at the time at the most. I shouldn't have been left unsupervised to sell things. I shouldn't have been left unsupervised with money at a place where I was selling things. Like that was, it was just, it was dumb um, for them to have let me do that. It was dumb for me to have sold it. And that guy was probably the worst person I have ever met in my life for, for scamming me like that. I'm really mad at it. Cause I wish I still had my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You know, I don't sell things anywhere. That was the last time I sold things. Um, I realized probably like a week or two later that I had got mad scams. And uh, I started being like super sad about it, and I'm still super sad about it, cause like I was talking about it recently, but I've got like video games that are worth like a thousand dollars. Some of those cards were probably worth like I had rare cards, right? Like I was into Yu-Gi-Oh, like I had actual cards that were actually good, and uh, they're just they're gone now. I'm sad now, but it's, it's all good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It's okay. We're going to win another game this mat, uh, this week, probably. Um, but that's going to do it for, for this episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.